How many times have you ever threw a buzz bait and you're reeling around a bush or something and it hits a limb? And as soon as it hits a limb, they blow apart and you miss them. You're like, God, he hit it right as he hit the limb. It's because it changed. It changed. So what you're trying to do is change that cast. Every time I get near a target, click, 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 click. Then I start reeling it again, all the way in. I may click it three or four times during one cast. I'm just trying to trigger that extra strike. I'm trying to bring a fish up out of a bush somewhere deeper. I mean, rod positioning on that controls how that works. If you see someone pointing their bait, I mean, I can remember the day, because we used to fish the invitationals, and you would draw somebody and you were boater on boater. If you were throwing a buzz bait and he picked this up and pointed it straight at this buzz bait, you were like, I love this guy because he's fixing to locate some bass for me because he's not going to catch many of them on that. You just didn't have any room for area. You hear people all the time say, man, he, I felt him. I felt him when he blew up on it. Where was your rod tip at? If you have your rod tip here and you're reeling it and the fish were to blow up on the bait and make that whoosh, I can stop. I literally, if I'm reeling, I just pause. I'm looking at that bait to see where it goes. Then I can set the hook. Then I can pull. If I'm pointing straight at him, I have nowhere to go but up and set the hook. You just, there's no room for error. This will save you. This right here, this is that stuff you shouldn't tell anybody. This rod is the steering wheel to this. Yes, I can make a bait. You know, you can buy left running blades, right running blades. I see guys do that. I want to throw down this side of the pier, down that side of the pier. Let me show you how to shortcut that. Y'all ready for this? Whoop, whoop. If I get close to a pier and I want my bait to run over to it, Whoop, I just lean my rod over. You take this rod and you coach that bait to wherever you want it to go. Every time it gets close to a target, if I'm throwing out there and there's a little piece of brush over here and I'm like, my bait ain't gonna quite get close enough, I just hold my rod and just kind of slowly reel it over. Turn it back this way. You control that bait as it's coming through the water. If, you want, if I'm throwing it down the side of a dock, I am not gonna throw down that dock unless this hits the dock at some level coming back. And don't let me get one down beside a pontoon because I'm going to make it click it all the way back. So I'm talking about like I'm tap dancing on methamphetamine. It's clackety, clackety, clack all the way down that pontoon. I want to clink, 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 clink. Why? Because I guarantee the folks in front of me ain't done that. It's something different. You're simply changing that sound. You're reeling that buzz bait and it hits the corner of that dock. Whoosh. How many times have we done that? So you want to do it on every dock. Don't let it be an accident. Drive that buzz bait wherever you want it. Simply lean out. If you think what you threw and you say, hey man, that's a bad cast. I got seven, seven foot four. I can move that back three or four foot over here and reel it. I can move it all the way back over here and reel it. Do you put yourself in a little bit of a handcuff position? Yes, but you can correct that cast simply by turning this. That's the cool thing about buzz bait fishing. I don't, when I go out to do it, I don't rig up five different baits to run different directions. I use the one I have. I tune it to run as straight as I can and you can tune them. If you look down that wire, if they're running too bad crooked one way or another, just straighten it up. You want the hook, the wire, and the blade all in line. If they get split apart or turned over, it causes them to run even worse. All of them are designed to run one way or another, but you can take a lot of them out. Now, I don't know if Justin, I should have tell you all this. Now we're gonna get down to the facts of how to make this thing sing. I mean, you got, you got Carrie Underwood singing, I mean, then you got the Beatles singing, but you can make a buzz by sang, sang. I'm talking about like get up and sang. Do you hold it? And here's what we used to do. Hold it out the window going to the tournament. I used to time to my truck, the antenna, and go down the highway. Well, it was good for about 10 minutes when I got there, and then I burnt the blade off of it and throwed it up my granny's yard, and there I was. I was like, man, I got to build another one. So I thought there's got to be a quicker, faster way to make one sound better. The key is, there is. There really is. And I'm just going to do it on a quarter ounce. I'm going to find one that hasn't been tuned. So this is, I'm going to dig around here because I'm going to make sure you don't question how good it can sound. This is just a quarter ounce, not even a great inline blade. I'm going to rip the skirt off so you know it's factory. I'm going to throw it down there. I'm going to bend it out there like that so you can hear it. Don't sound bad. If you'll notice, all War Eagles, when they used to make them, they grind the wire so they have a little bit of sound but not crazy sound, all right? And I'm gonna look at this one right here. This is an old one. <laughs> Sounds okay, <laughs> but not great. What are you listening for? You, you see people blow these blades. I see people doing it sometimes in the store and I don't even know if they're trying to blow sunflower seeds at people or they just know what they're listening because you'll see them over <laughs> How's it sound? I'm like, sounds like you might have asthma, but the bait don't sound real good. How do I change the frequency of that sound? 
And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.